right now it is all hands on deck across Tampa before thousands of families hit the streets for Halloween. Tonight, police are preparing to show up big tomorrow in Southeast Seminole Heights. Three people have been killed there recently and the cases are still unsolved. Police are showing up on horseback, they're patrolling in their cars, on bicycles, and even by foot. Let's get to News Channel 8's Corey Davis. He is live in Seminole Heights tonight. And Corey, a lot of people will be out tomorrow night keeping everyone safe, and that's going to be a top priority for police. Yeah, Keith and Stacy, good evening to you. Police sure have a whole lot to handle out here in Seminole Heights tomorrow night. They have to, they're also facing the fact of trying to find the killer or killers, but area leaders tell us they have it covered. This time tomorrow, the Seminole Heights community will see something different while trick-or-treating. We'll have uh, some of our mounted officers, so we'll have some horses out there. Uh, Florida Highway Patrol is going to be out there with us. Tampa police will be all over the city focusing on southeast Seminole Heights. Interim Police Chief Brian Dugan is also planning to go door-to-door. -door. I'm going to go out there. I'll be personally on patrol, and you know what? If somebody wants to walk with me, they can walk with me. I'll walk, I'll walk with their family and get candy with them. I might even take some of their candy. A personal effort by the chief to reassure the community. Three weeks have gone by and still no clues as to who randomly shot and killed three people walking alone after dark. Mayor Bob Buckhorn telling us families shouldn't worry while trick-or-treating. But we want those kids to have a Halloween and we want those families to know that the Tampa Police Department has got their backs. Over in South Seminole Heights, hundreds of kids are expected to trick-or-treat at Rivercrest Park. We know that there's safety in numbers, and so we plan to utilize this event to um, just show the neighborhood that there is unity and that we're coming together to continue to use our park and not be afraid. Determined to live their lives, following the chief's suggestions to not let the killer or killers terrorize their community. And the chief and mayor will get started walking with families, trick-or-treating out here in Seminole Heights tomorrow night around 6 o'clock in Giddens Park. Back to you. And there will be media there as well. Corey Davis spending a lot of time in Seminole Heights lately. Thank you.